Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is something very different to anything that I've ever done before. We are going to be talking about the Mirena IUD, which is the Mirena coil, which is birth control, contraception, whatever you call it. It is one of those. Um, basically, it's going to be about my journey of being on it and my experience and what I think about it. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about when it was inserted and just the whole nearly three years that I've had it in. So, uh, when I had my first little girl, um, I after she was born, I went on to the patch, the hormonal patch. And I had it not for very long at all, but it made me feel horrendous. I was on edge all the time. I was upset all the time. And it was just, it was horrible. I really, really hated it. Um, so my doctor said, right, you can, we'll stop that and we'll try something else. Um, but for some reason, they didn't, they wanted me to wait until I'd got a period from what I remember. It was a little bit of a blur, to be honest. Um, but then Ari happened. So, yeah, little fishy came along. She was a little bit of a surprise, but she was the best surprise ever. Um, but then obviously when I'd had Aria uh, at in October 2015, I was like, okay, we can't, we can't have another, another sneaky baby. Um, so I went back to the doctors and they didn't want me to go on the pill because I was breastfeeding. And I was a little bit worried about remembering to take it because my short term memory since having the kids is shocking. I can remember any, I can remember stuff that happened to me when I was six, but I cannot remember what I had for dinner yesterday. So they suggested the coil and there's two, there's the copper coil and the hormonal coil, the hormonal coil, which is the Mirena, which is what I've got. Um, and it's a progestin is the hormone. I think that's what it is anyway. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. Um, and it basically just, it's like 99% effective. And I'll just read you some facts off the NHS website. Um, 99% effective. It can be taken out at any time. Your fertility re um, returns straight afterwards. Unlike um, the injection and the pill that can then have adverse effects on your fertility afterwards. Um, it can make your periods lighter or stop altogether. Um, it can be used for women who can't use combined contraception. Um, like if you've got migraines. Once it's in, you don't have to think about it. Um, it says some women may experience side effects such as mood swings. Uh, there's a small risk of infection. Uh, it can be uncomfortable when it's put in. And um, that's basically it. So it's, it thickens the, cer the cervical mucus, which makes it more difficult for sperm to move through the cervix and thins the lining of the womb. So an egg is less likely to implant itself. That's how it does it. Um, they last five years. And yeah, it seemed like a really good idea. And I was like, okay, let's do it. So they booked me in. I went to the um, local family planning clinic. My doctors don't do it. My doctors at the time didn't do it. So I went to the family planning clinic um, and I had a nearly 15 month old baby and about a six week old baby with me. And the doctors were like, um, did you not get a babysitter? And my family don't live close. So I couldn't get a babysitter. I took the babies um, and they kind of, their reaction to me taking them was a bit like, oh God, this is going to be awful. But it was absolutely fine. The kids were in a double buggy. And the whole procedure for me whipping my pants off and getting on the couch was like five or six minutes, if that, probably. Um, and um, yeah, so they basically, you lay on the couch, get your legs akimbo, and they put they insert it through your cervix into the womb um it wasn't it wasn't nice but then it's not going to be nice is it but it wasn't painful um it didn't hurt at all it was just uncomfortable it's just like when you have a smear test um which if you haven't had one and are putting one off go and get it done now or else just get it out get your vag out get your smear test done it's worth it yeah i promise and it's just not that bad at all um, I've had more doctors look at my mini than I can't eat seriously. I used to have like cysts on my ovaries and with the kids and all that. You just, after the first time, it's like, yeah, whatever. They don't give a crap. They see like a thousand fannies a day. So just go and do it. Uh, anyway, off that tangent. Um, but yeah, they did that. I went home and 
it was fine but about a week and a half two weeks after um, i had it done i started to spot um and i hadn't had a period since december 2013 when i fell pregnant with mika um and by this point it was like nearly christmas 2015 so like in two years i hadn't had a period um so that spot and i kind of just assumed that would be that um but it, it just carried on like um out of a month i was spotting for maybe 20 to 25 days and um i went back to the doctors and they um they said oh it's because you're breastfeeding that's why once you stop breastfeeding it'll just it'll stop and i was like okay um so fast forward, I stopped breastfeeding Ari when she was one. I weaned her off. She was like, maybe she was just over one, one and a half, one, one and a month. I don't know. She was just over one. Um, and I stopped breastfeeding her. And then I waited probably another six weeks and I was still spotting. Went back to the doctors and they said, oh no, no, it's because you were breastfeeding. You have to wait six months after you stop breastfeeding and then it'll settle down. And I was like, right, okay. So I waited until Ari was like 18 months old, still spotting all the time. Um, and this has just gone on basically it's got less it's now like three years and i probably only spot for half a month but it's still not amazing it's just it's not it's not fun at all i really don't like it um and i've been recently researching about it because i was just like this is ridiculous having to sp like spotting for that much of a month it's just really really annoying um and my doctors have just said oh it's just it's just what has happened you can take it out and try something else and so i've kind of been like yeah right well let's have a little research so i've been researching and it turns out there is a lot of people people women there's a lot of women who have had a similar experience where some of them have lost like have just like bled constantly like gushes where they've been like they've ended up being anemic because they've lost so much blood um, other people have had similar to me where they just spot all the time but then other side effects i've read are people having anxiety and my anxiety has always been there since i was about 15 like i can pinpoint the exact time when it started we're not going to go into that now but i like i know when it happened um but it's got much worse over the last three years and i kind of just assumed it was because i've got two babies but it's when i when i was pregnant with aria and i really got mika it wasn't my anxiety wasn't that bad it was just a normal kind of new mum kind of thing but then since i've had ari it has got so much worse to the point like um i did end up having to try and go on to um anxiety medication that didn't work for me at all i couldn't physically pick up the kids it was that bad it made me spin so much and i couldn't and they sort of just said oh you need to like just have it for two or three weeks work through the side effects and then you'll feel better but when you've got a newborn that you need to pick up and feed 20 times a day you can't not pick them up for three weeks um so i sort of just would manage it on my own and i kind of just always assumed it was just because i was a mum of two toddlers or two babies at the time but since reading so many other people have had this experience where their anxiety has got so much worse since having this coil um and again there's lots of people that say that the doctors just i think there's not enough studies or something the doctors say oh it can't be possibly be that but if there's this many women saying it surely it makes sense that it is true not all these women are feeling the same thing since this is ha since having this thing put in to then you see what i mean I'm just kind of, it just doesn't sit right um there's lots of other things i've read so many blogs recently and so many posts on baby forums and stuff of women saying that um they have gained weight i've definitely gained weight since having the kids like and i used to be able to lose weight really easily and now like despite the fact my diet not changing like eating more i just still gain weight and it's just i feel really bloated and i've always felt bloated since i've had the kids and i kind of just assumed again it was just because babies and it's just it's what happens but yeah there's just lots and lots of other people experiencing the same thing if you've experienced this let me know comment down below email me chat to me whatever i'd love to hear from you about this um so yeah i have not had a good experience with the morena and i am gonna get it taken out 
um i was gonna get it taken out this week but then i thought there is a thing called the morena crash which is apparently um your body realizes that it's not getting this um hormone that the coil delivers and it has to make it itself and it's kind of a bit of a where you can feel really really bad really really anxious really depressed um i think it's really really scary like some reading about some people having suicidal thoughts and just it sounds horrible um and then i've read about people having the worst period of their lives where they can't get out of bed um and i kind of thought well we're gonna be going on holiday in two weeks and i do not want to have this i didn't want it to i don't want to risk this because it might not happen the morning it might the crash and the period might not happen but i don't want to risk them happening whilst um on holiday um i don't want to ruin uh, my whole family's holiday because this could potentially happen so um i'm gonna have it done after the holiday um and i think i'll probably i'll probably split this into two videos um and we'll do this one my experience whilst on the marina and then i'll do the after effects i'm not really sure yet but there is so many people that i've read about this having this uh, people but just having these horrible horrible side effects but then the doctors say oh no it can't possibly be that i just don't i don't really understand um Like it says here, disadvantages. Your periods may become irregular or stop completely, which may not be suitable for some women. Some women experience headaches, acne or breast tenderness. Some women experience changes in mood or libido, but these are strangers are very small. So they're saying very, very small, but uncommon side effect is some women develop cysts on their ovaries. Um, and they can as well, another risk that um, they don't, they didn't tell me about, but it actually happened to somebody I know, is um the coil it's a little t-shaped plastic thing it can perforate your womb and then it sort of migrates into your abdomen this happened to somebody that i know um and at the time i think four of us had the this all fitted near each other like in the same time of each other and none of us were told about it being a risk not one of us we all went to different places and not one person was told about the risk that this could happen and it happened to one of us so and it had a massive effect on their life afterwards so be aware do your research i'm not saying that it's not going to happen um but like it says on the nhs website, so damage to the wound in rare cases it can make a hole in the wound when it's put in this may be painful but there are no other symptoms um yeah so just do your research i wouldn't recommend it um and i've had out of the four of us that had it done at the same time only one is keeping it in one's had it removed already one had to have it surgically removed because it perforated and i'm getting my mind removed because of this so one out of four likes it the rest of us do not so yeah no this is a bit different um but yeah let me know your thoughts what your experiences have been i'd really really be interested to know i'll link all my information down below so you can message me if you want to um but yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys.